Hello everyone, it's James from Square Internet here with another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Elementor's maintenance mode. This is useful for if your website needs to be brought temporarily offline or if you're experiencing some technical issues, bugs, things are breaking, stuff like that. So instead of users seeing a website that's experiencing issues and maybe it looks a bit chaotic, you have the option to enable Elementor's maintenance mode and display a maintenance template to people who visit the website. So anyone visiting the website will see a simple template that just says, you know, whatever you want it to, something like maintenance mode, please check back soon. And then that allows you to work on the website in the back end and deal with any issues that you might need to deal with. So it's very useful for if you're experiencing any technical difficulties or if you're making changes to the website that are going to impact the user, you can just turn on maintenance mode for a few hours or as long as is necessary. The only thing I would say is uh, don't enable maintenance mode for a long period of time on a website that's already live and indexed by search engines. You don't want to be leaving it active for days and days because it could have an impact on your search engine rankings due to the code that it returns to the search engines. Uh, when they try and crawl your website. But anyway, without getting too much into SEO and that sort of stuff, let me show you how maintenance mode works, how you can use it and how you can create uh, and use your own template to display to users for maintenance mode. So first of all, you need to be logged in to your WordPress website. I'm in the dashboard here. I'm on my staging site here that I've created. I'm just going to show you that it's all loading fine. You know, I can access it. Other users can access it. Now to enable maintenance mode, as I said, log into the WordPress dashboards. And then from here, we want to hover over Elementor. We want to go down to tools, click on tools. And then there's an option here, a tab for maintenance mode. So click on the tab and then where it says choose mode, choose maintenance mode. There's a coming soon mode you can use as well. Um, that's for websites that are being built. So if you're building a website and you don't want people to see it being built, that's very useful. But, um, for this video, I'm focusing on maintenance mode. So we're going to click maintenance. You have the option, uh, who can access the website while it's in maintenance mode. Don't really need to go into that for this one though. We're just going to keep it simple. So just select maintenance in choose mode. And then here where it says choose templates. So you need to have a template selected for maintenance mode to activate. If I, you know, make sure that there's no template, it will tell me that you need to have a template selected. So you can create a template in Elementor using the Elementor builder, which is really easy to do. Uh, you know, as you know, Elementor is really easy to use in general. So you can create any kind of template that you want. Uh, keep it simple is what I'd recommend. I created a really simple maintenance mode template for the video that I'm just going to activate. I'm just clicking save changes. So I've chosen maintenance mode. I've chosen a template and I've clicked save changes to activate maintenance mode. Now, if I view my website as a user would, we can see maintenance mode currently experiencing some technical difficulties. Please check back shortly. You can display whatever you'd like here, but I think it's best to keep it simple. As I said, just to let people know to check back in a little while when you disable maintenance mode. So that's how you activate maintenance mode. I'm now going to show you how you can create a simple template that doesn't have a header or footer, because if you just go away and create a template as you usually would, you'll notice that the template, the maintenance mode template will still be pulling in your header and footer, which isn't ideal if you don't want people to be able to navigate around your website. Let me just show you what I mean. If I select any of my other kind of um, templates, when I refresh the header and footer will be present. You see, so, you know, this would perhaps be the, the middle bit, the actual template, but the header and footer are still present. So we need to make sure that our maintenance mode template is using the correct elemental canvas setting so that there's no header and footer. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So to create a simple maintenance mode template, we're just going to go to pages. I'm going to click add new. 
we're going to call it whatever we like, but you know, something that makes sense perhaps. And I'm going to publish the page. And then I'm going to edit the page with Elementor. To open up the Elementor editor. And I think the best thing to do for these maintenance pages is just to have a sort of um, background color. So um, a colored background and some text. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm just adding a new section. I'm going to grab the blue color I use on my website. And I'd recommend that you come into the layout and to get that, you know, full page effect, it's really simple. We're going to come into layout on our section, one column section, and where it says heights, we're just going to click fit to screen like that. So now this is uh, automatically going to fill the whole screen, regardless of the screen size. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a heading, I'm going to center it. I'm going to say maintenance mode. I'm going to change the color to white so that it contrasts on the colored background. I'm just going to drag a text box, just write something. This is your maintenance mode text. So you can, whatever you want there. Um, please check back shortly. We are experiencing some technical difficulties like so. We'll make sure that that's white color as well so that it contrasts and can be seen. And then um, you may even want to um, uh, put your logo there perhaps for a bit of branding. So I'll just do that. Like so, that looks okay. So I'll just update that. Um, important part here is that we need to actually save it as a template because um, I should have just created a template, but it's easier to, to start as a page because we need to use a template, not a page. So Elementor will only accept a template rather than a page built in Elementor, but that's easy. Just click on this little icon here. It says save options and then click on save as template and just call it whatever is appropriate like so to save the template and the final thing I want to show you that I mentioned about the header and the footer because if you notice the header and footer are still displaying on this template which we don't want we need to click on this cog icon here on the Elementor editor click on that until you see this page the page settings or the template settings and then where it says layout, click Elementor Canvas, and you'll see it says no header, no footer, just Elementor. And now the header and footer are gone. We'll just update. Um, we'll save it once more, just in case. And then we'll come to the Elementor maintenance mode page once again. And we'll select the template that we just created and we'll click save changes to display it. And hopefully provided um, there's no cache, it will just load for us. I'm just clearing my cache. Maintenance mode is active, the new template selected. Let's open again in a new tab. No, we're getting hard cash for some reason, which is annoying. But let's not worry about the cash for now. Um, so that's how you do it in a nutshell. So we've walked through how we activated it. We've walked through how we create and save the template. We've walked through how we uh, remove the header and the footer using the Elementor Canvas setting. So you know how to activate maintenance mode. You know how to create and save a template with the Elementor Canvas layouts. And you now know how to select that template from the Choose Template options here. Unfortunately, um, 
my cache is being a pain. Uh, otherwise it would refresh and show you the template with the logo that we just created. But you know how to create the template, you know how to choose the template, and you know how to activate maintenance mode, which is something that's really useful for when you're dealing with issues on your website, whether they are, you know, you're making some changes or you're just having some bugs because you've updated some plugins perhaps. So hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free WordPress videos. I'm creating a lot of regular content. If you have any questions about how maintenance mode works, just pop a comment on the video. And if I can answer it, I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you're looking for an easier way to work with and build WordPress websites in general, make sure you check out WP The Easy Way, my free WordPress course. There's no catch, it's just a complete system for building WordPress websites without a theme, loads of plugins or a developer. You can access the course via the link and sign up free and then get instant access to the course. Thanks as always for watching my videos and hopefully I'll see you on the next videos.